kids are both asleep, so I thought I would take a moment to do a little periscope. I am working on some Alabama Chan and stuff right now, so I thought I'd talk a little bit about my favorite tools that I use when I do some hand sewing. Um, right now I'm working on the corset. Um, hi, Lander. <laughs> um, it's the corset pattern from the most current um, Alabama Channon book called Alabama Channon Sewing Patterns. Um, I chose to do a little bit of a different stencil on mine. Uh, I think the one that on the cover is Magdalena, however you say that. Um, but I'm doing one called Anna's Garden, and it looks um, like this with just the fabric paint on it. And I started doing the stitching in black. So you can kind of see what that looks like. Um, I did the stenciling myself and I just used little foam rollers or foam, I guess like paint brushes to, thank you, Allison. <laughs> um, and I've mixed some just basic jacquard fabric paint that I found at my local um, art supply store. And I mixed colors that would kind of make it a little bit of a darker version of the fabric color. So it's a little brown tinged green. Um, and I chose also to use the same fabric as the backing so it's two layers of fabric, which is why I have these safety pins. And that is my first tip, is the, um, the pins that I use. I found these cool curved safety pins. I think they're mostly used for, oh, it's backwards. <laughs> but um, it says curved safety pins. I think it's mostly used for hand quilting, but they're wonderful because they have a bend in them so they don't pucker your fabric too much when you're um, hand sewing the pieces. You can see how it goes smoothly through the fabric. Oh, it's not backwards for you? Oh, good. <laughs> cool. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hi. Um, yes, if you do have a toddler around, you could do that. Um, or <laughs> you can just buy them. I got them from Joann's, so I think they're pretty easily available, but I didn't know about them. Um, I was pretty excited when I saw those. Hi. Um, it's kind of late where you are, isn't it? Um, but I'm glad to see you. Um, let's see. So that's my first tip. These quilting pins, um, safety pins are awesome. Um, and I also, um, I keep everything. I think it's handy to have, this is a little sheet container that I think I got in some like little shop in Harvard Square when I lived in Cambridge quite a few years ago and I had no idea what to do with them. They were just sheep so of course I bought them. Um, but I found, I actually just use washi tape because my children will open everything. Um, that's why I have this very classy washi tape holding it shut. But um, it's nice to have all of your things in one tiny little container. You could also use like a little zipper pouch. Um, but I keep all of the um, the safety pins in the bottom and then the other thing that I really love are these clover pens that um, marking pens and they're just the chalk like Taylor's chalk except it comes in this really nice uh, liner um, applicator so I'll show you on the back how it's pretty easy to use of course now it's not working and it shows up nicely for you. Um, I use that to kind of um, set the basting lines. You can see um, the Alabama Channon um, book recommends you do baste, and I found the basting, to, it's very quick to do, just in and out, in and out, and then pull through, and that's with um, regular um, all-purpose thread. And I find that helpful to use, so I carry those around with me. I forget what else I use those 
Taylor's chalk for, but I, I do have it in here. Hmm, I'll think about it. Live Periscope, I can't remember what else. Oh, hi, Laura. <laughs> um, let's see, I also love, I, I stab myself quite a bit, so I found um, these clover, um, let's see if it'll focus a little bit. It has a pretty pattern on it, a leather thimble. And I like this one because you can actually still feel the, the needle through, which is nice. Um, but it does protect your finger. I could actually use more of them because somehow I still end up poking myself. Um, not usually, yes, like moccasins for your fingers. That's exactly it. Um, but um, I don't usually stab myself when I'm doing the hand sewing. I can like remember that I'm poking the needle through, but when I'm making the knots and things like that, I tend to um, stab myself, which is ridiculous. Um, I also got my favorite needles are these, they're pretty long, they're Milner's needles, you can see that, sort of. Um, and I think I got these on Fabric Worm, they're the Tulip brand, and they come in this beautiful, I think it's plastic actually, but plastic corked bottle. I think it's Japanese, of course, because it has beautiful packaging. Um, but those are my favorite needles. Uh, what else do I have? That's about it for my favorite little tools. Oh, and of course, I love the Clover um, Wonder Clips. These are wonderful. Um, but I was using them to secure the fabric instead of the safety pins, but I found they're actually pretty heavy. So I think if you were doing a larger piece, um, the corset has a lot of smaller pieces that you put together. Um, and I think if you were doing a bigger piece, it wouldn't weigh it down so much, but I found it actually pretty unwieldy to use, but I still do use them sometimes when I'm putting larger pieces together and they hold really well um, and um, then you don't have straight pins kind of poking you. Um, what else? I guess I could show you the ones that I finished. So these are the ones that I have finished. You can see a little bit. And the light's not super great, but um, so I've done a few pieces. And this one I actually did backwards, which I found so ridiculous because, so what I did was, this is the front, which looks great, but then I have the right side of the fabric backwards so instead of like these which are correct you can see the purl side is on this side and the knit side is on this side so that when you cut out the stencil where's the one where I have it cut out um, here we go so when I cut out the stencil you can see the little bit there it shows the right side of the fabric through um, but on the one that I did incorrectly I have the right side backwards. So I was talking to some friends at Rhineback last week. Hi, Hattie. Um, and they said, just leave it, just leave it. But I'm a little bit too crazy for that. So I think I'm going to rip it out, which is kind of a shame because I did do almost the entire panel. But um, I know myself and it would bother me. And plus it's like the middle it's like a pretty large piece on the back, so you would definitely see it. But you'd think I would have noticed a little earlier because I'm a knitter and I know what pearl buttons feel like. I was actually going to sleep that night after I finished you know, most of this piece. And I was like, I don't think that I was feeling pearl bumps back there. So yeah, I think so too. I am gonna fix it, but it doesn't take too long to do well. I was talking to Christine from A Verb for Keeping Warm and she said that sewers find this Alabama Channon style sewing to be so slow, but knitters find it to be very fast. So for me, it does feel fast because you don't actually have to create the fabric yourself. You just have to embellish and sew it together. So it does seem pretty fast to me. So I think I am going to um, 
rip it out and do it again. Um, Cause I will know, even if nobody else will notice. Um, yeah, so that's my little video about Alabama Channon. Does anybody have any questions? I know there's only a couple people here, but if you do have any questions, you could ask me. I'm not a huge expert, but I have done a little bit so far. Um, I guess I could show real quick too. I'm working on a dress that I got. Um, it's just organic cotton. It's from um, Charlie Harper does it, I think, through Birch Fabrics. So it has, it's all wrinkled, but <laughs> it's been traveling to Rhinebeck and back. Um, but it has little feathers on it, and I'll back up a little bit. It's going to be like a baby doll dress. You can see I haven't completely started um, gathering the skirt together, but I was pretty proud of myself. You can actually see the, the Cretan stitch there. It actually kind of looks right. So I was kind of happy about that. Uh, it took a little bit of practice, but uh, it wasn't super hard. I think it looks a little bit more complicated than it is. And the seaming itself goes very fast. So if you were to do a very simple garment, I think it would go pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. I made a little um, pair of pants for my son, which are actually upstairs, or I would show those too. Um, but it went really, really quickly um, to assemble it. Hi, Mary Heather. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's been super fun. I think it's a fun thing to do, particularly, I think all those harps must be from Mary Heather. <laughs> um, you know, as something that, as a good compliment for knitting, because I don't know, I feel like sometimes like you wear so m you can only wear so many knitted things, but I really want to wear things that I've made. So I think it's, you know, as I'm a mother, a lot of my clothes have kind of transitioned to like sweatshirt jersey fabric because it's easy to clean and it's comfortable and you can just throw it on and go. Um, but I love the idea of making something beautiful with that kind of fabric and make it something that feels good on your skin and feels, um, creative at the same time so yeah yeah I think it's super fun so um oh I will show you one piece that I actually think I'm going to keep in <laughs> one night at Rhinebeck I was stitching and then the next morning I looked and I don't even know if you can see it but part of this panel is actually in blue navy blue thread instead of black but I think I'm going to leave it and maybe do a little pops of navy blues <laughs> just because I think it actually kind of looks cool sometimes when you make mistakes like that it actually ends up being a, a neat addition so I think I'm gonna keep it um, yeah I think that's it <laughs> all right so my first individual periscope and I survived so thanks everybody Mwah! bye how do I stop it I don't know Oh, good to see you too. <laughs> Bye. I can't turn it off. Mm, double tap. No. Pull down. <laughs> Thanks, Allison. <laughs> Bye.